My name is Dumbo. Um, yeah. So Howard and Kumar get the munchies is is the first one. It's also known as Howard and Kumar go to White Castle, and then the sequel is Howard and Kumar go to Guantanamo Bay, which is when they go to Guantanamo Bay, and the guy there says that he's gonna feed them a cock sandwich. That's pretty crazy. What horrible, what horrible place to go. Yeah, well, Guantanamo Bay, yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> they feed you fucking cock sandwiches and they play like, they rock you like a hurricane on repeat so you can't sleep for 72 hours. Yeah, and Howard and Kumar aren't even there. They've already left. Well, they're not there anymore. They were freed because they, were, they weren't terrorists. They were just trying to get high on the plane. To me, that's a terrorist. <laughs> that's a terrorist act to, to smoke weed on a plane. Have you ever had anyone smoke on a plane that you're on? Georgians no. love smoking on everything. Really? <laughs> they were smoking on the plane. It was I, so funny. They like, smoke on the plane. Um, they all kept going down to the same like bit of a train to smoke, and then a woman would run up there and start screaming at them. And she just awesome. did that for like 10 hours. It was pretty awesome. They love smoking. That's sick. When I was in Barbadia, like, they, everyone was smoking heavy. Mm. Cigs are so cheap out there, you gotta smoke. Yeah. Yeah, I, I took up smoking then and never again. I was smoking like, these, two like, a pack. fruity little thin black cigarettes, because they were just, like, two pound a pack. It was awesome. I felt, I felt very European. Nice. I felt like a European slut. <laughs> smoking tiny thin cigarettes, hanging out at cafes. They live a beautiful life, really. They do. Eating fucking weird cheese and like pickled cabbage and shit. They put an egg in the middle of bread. Put some damn cheese <laughs> in there. Sounds good. That's a dish. What, and, and like a loaf or something? No, they, yeah, just they bake a whole yeah. loaf of bread, they put <laughs> one egg inside it, and that's a traditional Georgian dish. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Christmas pudding with the tuppence. It's like that, but that's it's just a dinner thing and the dad gets the egg. You know, like when Mike Miner's families fucking they all share the bath. Ah, uh, yeah. Like that's like the dad gets the egg, so you just get bread until you eventually yeah. have your own child. And the dad gets all the all the prison, all the all the miners soot all over the bread. So the baby eats all the soot off, off the uh, the crust. You're mixing the shit up now. If you want to get the egg, you have to either have your own child or kill the dad. <laughs> your you have to rise up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful culture they have there. It's not yeah. lower than ours. No, it, it's not. It's not a worse culture. Okay, you can't say that. No, it's just another. I don't culture. think we can put this in the episode. <laughs> yeah, it's can. fine. It's not in the episode yet. We've got so many. We've got so many Georgian fans. <laughs> <laughs> so we watched Orphan. Bre- breaking up, breaking up the comedy streak. We watched a, a scary, scary film about an orphan. It's basically a cautionary tale against adoption. Yeah, you don't bring in an unfamiliar child. You don't know what kind of issues they've got. Just don't do it. Fuck you both. Fuck you both. Those just fucking <laughs> sitting there. I hate you both so much. Well, what the fuck do you want to talk about then? <laughs> I don't. I don't have much to say about, um, you know, Esther. I just thought it was a strange. You loved movie. Esther. You thought she was awesome, and you wanted to be her. I thought, yeah, she's awesome. She's so so horrible. This was a she intro. She's... This is a fucking bullshit <laughs> she intro. And I want you to include this part where I'm berating you and telling you guys that was a she intro. And we're gonna start over. <laughs> So we watched. Well, I mean, this is this is only our tenth time recording a, the intro. Isn't it? No, I would never let you guys get to the tenth time. You'd both be replaced. <laughs> I could replace you both like that. What What do you replace us with? You go down to the orphanage. <laughs> no, I just fill whatever boxes you guys tick. It's easy. I'll do the market research. Whatever demographics you guys are playing to, it's fine. We'll just You'd re-brand. never find someone that plays to so many demographics as I do. Yeah, the older black people actually weirdly love Harry. <laughs> black people, thirty-five to sixty, they lo- they can't get enough of Harry. He's like the new Urkel. Yeah, I read the uh, I read the Pete Buttigieg uh, biography, so now I'm really good at stuff like that. Really Pete Buttigieg turned you out. 
if you were an intern <laughs> in his fucking place, he'd be fucking he'd poke holes in you like Swiss cheese. I believe that. <laughs> he'd I believe you that's like what a he's doing right now. Peking duck. It's the kind of thing that they do. I love politics. <laughs> I love political satire. I love this episode. <laughs> Our often episode is not off to a good start. It's off to a great start. I, I feel like we should just get into the kind of the plot. And then, so I've got a few things we can talk about, kind of, but they're at specific bits. Let me do a, a clean intro take to, to talk okay. about, like, let's, let's, okay, let me start fresh. Let me sip my drink. Okay, this is Dumboplex. Uh, this week we watched Orphan, a scary movie about an orphan. Uh, I'll say it. I think the orphan's kind of a bitch. What do you guys think? I think she's so cool. <laughs> what do you think's cool about her, other than that she dresses like uh, some kind of like Victorian ghost child? Uh, she she has ribbons. On all over her body, but she has them for a lame reason. I don't, I don't think that's lame. It's pretty. She's got lame. magic powers or something. No, no, it's lame as hell. She got chained up. Yeah, she got. She captured. got captured. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she imagine being like, "Oh, look how cool I am! I got captured." Yeah. That's oh, yeah, not These cool. are my scars from the time I got captured. Like <laughs> a dog. Yeah, they put me in a trap. Yep. Oh, they put some. Uh, they put some cheese under a trap. I mean, she's Estonian <laughs> or Russian or something, right? So cheese. <laughs> Cheese would work much like a mouse. Do they like yeah. cheese? She's got like an imprint of a bit, a piece of cheese kind of on the side of her cheek. <laughs> where she got slammed in a trap. <laughs> <laughs> she got a big kind of metal bar kind of mark all over her like, <laughs> backside. That would have made fucking Stuart Little such a sick movie if they adopt Stuart Little and then it kind of does like an orphan twist. Like Stuart Little starts like hiding thumbtacks around the house and like oh, yeah. kills the cat. Yeah, it turns out Stuart Little dad. is an adult. Stuart Little he tries to touch cheese. the dad's dick. <laughs> he eats all the cheese. He'd be eating all the yeah. cheese anyway, evil or not. If you've got <laughs> a fridge full of cheese mean, it, and you've got Stuart Little in the house, you know he's going in on that. I feel, I feel like with Stuart Little, like, you could just do normal kind of rat mouse things. Just, like, take a poo in the cereal and, like, make some holes in your kind of cabinet. That was... That, that was that's basically... That's basically, like, orphan. Yeah, that's basically like Orphan. I love the bit when she did poo in the cereal. <laughs> so the movie starts with uh, she's pre- uh, the the mum. There's a mum. Uh, what's the, the mum? Mu- what's the mum's name again? Kate. Kate. Yeah. So Kate is at the hospital, and she's being wheeled wheeled in, and she's in labour. Yeah, she's going crazy labour. Yeah, she's she's ha- she's doing she's doing emotional labor for this baby. She's bringing mm-hmm. it into the hospital, and then she starts bleeding out of her thing. Her thing. Yeah, and all, all the doctors are being like really crazy. Yeah, they're being very evil. Yeah, like, they're, they're acting yeah. as evil as possible. They're doing a social experiment things. prank gone wrong on her. Mm. Yeah, it's like and, and the mo- the most evil doctor is the one. He's got his phone out and he's recording it. That's a husband. Her. Yeah, that's for her. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a dog, sir. I thought it was like, <laughs> no. recording, like a miscarriage compilation or something. <laughs> Pregnancy fail compilation. <laughs> you won't believe how cringe. Yeah, fa- fail a hummy. Horrible <laughs> pregnancy. <laughs> Mishca- well, miscarriage cringe compilation. <laughs> <laughs> the old bitch makes a big jammy mess. <laughs> Stupid dried up cunt can't even give birth. Right? <laughs> <laughs> But it turns out it's a dream, I, I th- and she's not really doing it. It's yeah. not really happening, because she already that, lost the baby. That was the part that I watched in Hindi, and at first I thought, like, that they yeah, were why in did a, you watch a it foreign in Hindi hospital. Because I was using my Amazon Fire Stick with Popcorn Time installed. Um, and what is Popcorn, popcorn? <laughs> popcorn, popcorn, popcorn time, time? Popcorn Time lets you watch movies for free. Oh, wow, it for really is Popcorn free. Time, then. Yeah. Uh, popcorn Time didn't work, and yeah, it played the in movie Indian. in Hindi. Yeah. Well, no, that, some of them, some of them, the one that I watched was in Hindi, and it said it was, uh, and so I just thought, because Hindi sounds a lot like English, at like, points. They use some of our words. They use some of our words, that must be it. Because, it's true, you can pick uh, up the, on that. 
But women sounded English. Yeah, I can pick up on Hindi most of the time, but um, they were talking a bit fast. But yeah, uh, I thought it was a foreign thing going on. <laughs> <You> I thought, <laughs> I thought dream she was... sequence starts in Hindi. Yeah, I felt like her nightmare was giving birth in a foreign hospital. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't. I thought yeah. it was aliens as well. That was the other thing I thought it was. Because so then... sort of... Speaking as weird alien language. <laughs> I, I hate when of... I go into the fucking Indian takeaway and they start speaking at me in alien. <laughs> I'm like, what? Chicken this, cool this alien moon Chicken cool speak English. Yeah, that's what men and Chicken in yellow about. sauce, thank you. <laughs> but it tastes so delicious. Yeah, I have a chicken in red sauce. Tastes out of this world, would you say? Mm. Yeah, these aliens mm. are so friendly and they're so good at cooking. <laughs> ancient aliens, ancient Indians. What were they up to? Yeah. What were they doing? Were they, they, you know how the aliens came to, like, you know, South America? Yeah. And they taught them how to build like, all these pyramids and stuff. Yeah. Um, they went to well, India they went to and they India played a big prank. And they, and they told them. Um, <laughs> they played yeah, a big prank. They the plans. <laughs> they made it like the way it is now. <laughs> <laughs> they went there they and they... Taught, they taught them all the recipes. They had a big oh, recipe shit. book. I was going to say they went there and they played a big trick with them by going like, guys, cows are actually really important. They're not big, stupid animals to shit everywhere. They're actually really great, I, okay? I, I would never disrespect such a, a beautiful and unique part of the culture. I'm not disrespecting, I'm just saying. They kind of let cows get away with too much, though. It's It'd be hard to give birth to like a kind of a very red baby. Yeah, her baby looked like... Uh, did you ever go on that that website, Encyclopedia Dramatica? Back in the day, it was like all, so, it was yeah, like a like, Wikipedia for like all four chan shit, basically. I think briefly, and there's like um, there's the offended page. If you go on the page that says offended, yeah, it's like I remember clicking the link. Stuff. Anyway, the baby it's, looks it's, like it's um, on there. I think it's the Harlequin baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Harlequin baby's on it. That was it's like little, a classic, skinless kind of baby with his eyes popping out. Yeah. A baby that looks like a peeled grape. It looks like a creature. Mm. <laughs> it's actually cool that we managed to find, like, an adult Harlequin baby to be on our podcast. I really appreciate you being here, Harry. Yeah, no worries. I know it's difficult for you every day to, like, sit down here, <laughs> you stick to the chair, you touch a microphone, you stick to the microphone. <laughs> We're like, I just appreciate you cream yourself up before the recording and you make it happen you don't fucking grumble yeah. you just make it happen you have to dip yourself in, in flesh coloured paint <laughs> <Yeah>. every morning <laughs> you re yourself every morning I have to sit still and yeah. my skin like you have, to kind of, you have to rub your head in the carpet to make yourself a kind of hairstyle <laughs> <laughs> so she, she does she go to the psychiatrist after this I so. Yeah, I think it kind of cuts to. Well, she like wakes up and then she goes to therapy, mm. and um, she's got like a, a alcoholism issue or something. Yeah, she loves wine, and she she showed restraint by not going. In. She threw out her wine o'clock fridge magnet. Yeah. very dramatically at the beginning of the. Film. I went to the um, the paint oh. shop yesterday with um to get some mm. paint for the front door, and um, I was imagining like it would be cool if it was just kind of paint. Like not in can, just kind of all over the place. You kind of scoop it up, just like troughs. Oh, well, maybe maybe not even in troughs. Maybe just kind of like like a swimming pool, just a puddle. Yeah, like you have to wade through the paint to get like into the store. No, this is impractical. Have you ever left paint open? I guess that skin on the top. Oh, that would be great though. I love the skin. I love taking the skin. Well, maybe off. it could be the paint skin it's... store. Yeah. You could definitely sell some bullshit thing mm. like that. You set up in like Shoreditch, just like, yeah, come and put PVA cool <laughs> in your hands and drink cocktails. <laughs> you know? yeah, put you in a nappy. Yeah. When you guys were kids, did you ever like put uh, the little needle through your through the, the tip of your finger? Well, you know, that the shit sk- was for the cycle, skin, kids. The skin on the top of your finger. Did you do that? Yeah, I used to climb up on this kind of wooden kind of frame and I put nails through my hands and feet. <laughs> I used to pretend to be cheesy. No, you didn't. I'm being real. I'm being open and honest right now about what I used to do when I was in school. And I used to put the little sewing needle through my finger and freak people out. Oh, psychotic. Yeah, I used to do that. I used to turn my eyelids inside out. I could never do that. 
See, you were just a gross kid. What are you talking <laughs> nasty about? Nasty kid, yeah. <laughs> you did all this with, like, dried snot around your nose and Marmite around your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't a sticky kid. I wasn't a sticky kid. Oh, just a kid with needles in his fingers and his eyelids turned inside out. Yeah, it was out. hardcore. Mm. <laughs> I was, I was listening to fucking Tony child. Hawk's Pro Skater soundtrack all the time. <laughs> and sticking Lego up other kids' noses. <laughs> so she plays the piano for a job. I think that's kind of bullshit. I don't think that's a real job. Does she? I thought she was just like a stay at home. She mom. like plays the piano. That's her job. Yeah, like, I mean, she, she says she's oh. working. I think later in the film they say that she had a job at Yale, which I guess she kind of lost because of alcoholism. But like, I guess maybe she's like a music professor or something. It's kind of a bit vague. Yeah. Um, I was kind of thinking that it was probably quite boring to kind of just play piano. I wouldn't really get much out of that, I think. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. She's kind of she was going ham. She was like playing scales. I thought that that was funny that the to show that she's like this really sick pianist. They just she just plays like a bunch of scales going down. Yeah. And then a few chords. She's playing chopsticks. Yeah, she was playing the Rugrats theme song, yeah. and then her kid interrupts her. So she runs out there and she <laughs> fucking screams at her deaf child, like "Shut the fuck up!" Uh, yeah, her, her deaf child, um, Max, is um, playing basketball outside. Yeah. Oh yeah, and she's hooping. That's she's hooping. She's deaf and hooping, so she doesn't know how loud she is. But uh, I thought it was funny how she was like, "Stop throwing! I'm working." And I just thought it was funny how yeah. she said also, that. Like, because she's deaf. She has to do the sign and stuff. And it's well, like, you think it's okay. funny that she's deaf? Well, I think it's funny that a mum has a deaf child. And has a deaf <laughs> child and that that that's the same thing. That's funny that she's deaf. No, it's... I'm laughing at the mother, not the kid. Okay. I love going to the fucking... I love going to, like, Gre- St. Albans Hospital. That's what it's called? St. Albans Street? No, it's Great Ormond's Great Hospital. Ormond's Hospital. I, spent, I spent so much time there. Really? I'm a little sickly boy. That's... Yeah, I'm a harlequin. Oh, yeah. I'm a little harlequin baby. I thought you were being real. I thought you were going to spin us like a tragic no, I, yarn. No, I did. About... No, I... You look, I do you have a tragic like a, yarn. You look like... like a sickly child. By I looking at you, child. you I look spent... underdeveloped. I spent a lot of time at Great Ormond Street. I am a sickly child. They had Wario on the GameCube, I think. That's fire. And they had it in the waiting room, and I loved it, and then they replaced it with Wii. I would get Terminally Ill to be able to say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I keep getting all these. Um, put my head in the microwave and shit. I, ke- I keep getting all these like Nintendo collectors on um, YouTube Shorts, um, and it's just all these like strange men who just like spend like two hundred quid on like a GameCube game. Yeah. They spend like thousands of dollars and getting surgically altered yeah. to look like Mario. Getting really ill, so I can play yeah, a very rare nice. Nintendo game that they have at the <laughs> children's hospital. I need to. I need to get a rare hormonal deficiency <laughs> so I look like a child and I can pretend that I'm very sick and I need to play Wario right now. <laughs> I need to lick with a kind of old Nintendo cartridge. I have child's to cancer. Rare kind of long forgotten illness. I have gaming fever and there's only one cure. Mm. Oh yeah, and then she um she uh reads her she reads Max a bedtime story. Uh, and it's funny because it's like yeah about about your sister who died because obviously she like she doesn't like read it like aloud to her like holding the book she has to do like a little dance for her uh, with the sign language she's doing sign language I know but it's just like Im- imagine being <laughs> I was imagining being a deaf child and like you get your mother to kind of come in and do a little dance for you so you can go to sleep <laughs> I thought it was quite funny. An interpreter of dance. You get your. I get my mom to do the history of dance dance from YouTube every night before I go to sleep. Yeah, I have a, I have a big she spotlight has to do the whole thing. above my bed. <laughs> she has to do the whole thing, and then my dad has to do Star Wars, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I can't sleep. <laughs> I kick my feet around, and I get. I, I tussle around my duvet, and I get it all bunched up, and they're like, "No, I'm gonna do. I'll do Numa Numa." If it will put you to bed right now. Yeah. I don't remember any old YouTube stuff. Too young. Me and Harry are too young. Yeah. I remember watching Black Eyed Peas and my neighbour came in and said, Why are you watching that? Because there were too many boobies in it. That's fine. Wow. So, yeah. They yep. should have rapped about vegetables. That's true. 
I remember being what a kid. What did they rap about? Sorry, we said. No, go on. I was just trying to make someone say that one song that they made. Oh, yeah, well, Let's Get Retarded. Yeah, that <laughs> one. Yeah, that was literally my story was about that. <laughs> I was I was remember being a kid in Camden, <laughs> and I'd never heard the full version of, of Let's Get Retarded, and I was in, like, a, some, sh- like, I don't know, punk shop in, in Camden. I was, like, nine years old, my older brother. And they're playing, like, the full version of Let's Get Retarded. And I was like, oh, my God. They can't they can't say that. Who wrote this song? <laughs> wow. Who wrote this evil version of this Some song? Some sort of horrific punk band. Probably the Sex Pistols. Yeah, what kind of twisted, dark world, weird Al Yankovic fucking wrote Let's Get Retarded? Yeah. I don't think I would have thought it was evil as a kid. Well, I knew better. Yeah, they, they used to play the clean version yeah. all the time on the radio. Yeah, that's the thing. I only knew Let's Get It Started. Me too. They don't, they don't tell you about that on the radio. It's forbidden knowledge. Mm. They don't want us to know about it. I'm going to start by a radio station playing all the fucking crazy shit. Mm. Playing Let's Get Retarded, playing the Uncle Fucker song from the South Park movie. Playing Avenue Q. All the raw yeah. shit they don't want you to listen to. The Muppets popcorn song. When do they make it? When do they make that? Uh, probably like caveman times. What is that? <laughs> what is that bit? I don't know. Um, Just tell me what happened in the movie. Tell me what happened, what happened in the movie. In the movie? Um, I've got bathroom, and then telling my fat husband you smell good. You're skipping. You're skipping the the <laughs> orphanage, right? Yeah, that's like they a go big to no, the fucking the orphanage. The orphanage is, <laughs> is a bit later. This is just before the orphanage. Oh, oh! They she smells him, and then they don't fuck. Yeah, I think there's like a they're gonna fuck, and then she's like not in the mood. Yeah, she's not in the mood. I said, I've got a note that says her pajamas are really ugly. I don't like her pajamas. <laughs> I think she should have something a bit kind of um. I don't know. You think she should be putting on a show for her man? I, I think just something kind of normal, simple. That's like a woman's role. Maybe a bit of satin, a bit of legs. Oh, okay. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Oh my god, to go to bed dressed like Black Spider-Man. Spider-Man 3. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I need. <laughs> she gets taken over by a Venom symbiote. Yeah, I need to go at the Venom symbiote, you feel me? She, she thrashes about all night, it's horrible. It's, it's, I need a so they beautiful. them, but she's a they them because uh, she has a second consciousness inside of her that is the Venom symbiote. Mm. I can't quite tell if it's my wife or Venom that's her snoring all night. You would be able to tell if it was a Venom snoring. You would be. Able, nah, it would sound I mean, crazy. she keeps telling. She, I think my wife keeps telling me that she um, she wants to eat me, she's kind of talking in her sleep. But I think it's I think it's my wife, not the not the Venom symbiote. My wife, movie reference. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do you guys remember that? <laughs> you guys... What's that from? Hey, what's that from? Uh, Borak. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that guy the president for a bit? Borak. They made fucking Borak the president. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> 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 yeah, my wife, more like my husband, because Michelle Obama, that's a fucking man. That's a man. You can tell. <laughs> yeah, more like Michael Mobamba. That's, that's not his name. No. They, they, they couldn't get married back then, that was her real name. What did you people think of the, um, the orphanage? I thought it I wasn't didn't... miserable enough. Well, they had they had a clown. I, yeah, I thought very much the same. They were it was smiling I, and cheering. Yeah, they had a clown really in have the a clown? Oh, because I wrote that like they should stop trying to emulate houses and instead do like military barracks or a circus. <laughs> I feel like that would Because <laughs> I feel like you just have to give up a little bit on being normal <laughs> kids. That's what I'm saying. So they were too happy. Yeah. Why is it? It looks too exactly. heated in there. It looks. They should be. It should be one big hall, like sixteen beds, thin mm. mattress, yeah. sheet, yeah. and like the thinnest, yeah. grayest, oldest pillow you've ever seen. And like a big top tent, and like and the, yeah, and, and like a unicycle, and, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and a lion. Yeah, we well, you, you train maybe like someone you with train no a legs. Few of the legs. Um, the orphans to be like jugglers, and then you train, train a few to be like tightrope walkers. Mm. 
you train one to be like an elephant and uh <laughs> you gotta have the human cannibal yeah. you have to have the human cannibal I, yeah you need a couple to be freaks yeah, but, i would love to buy an orphanage and just go around like hmm yeah. you look small <laughs> enough to fit into my cannon <laughs> you, ha- you have a room that's um it's just like a chair you know like a lion tamer type thing but you can't afford a lion so you're just just like the most disgusting like mangy mutt you can find yeah <laughs> junkyard dog I would go to the orphan circus. Yeah. Are, you kidding, are you fucking kidding yeah. me? That would be so... Well, the, the, clown, the clown was in like, like the background we... of the movie, it was, and there was always the children around him. But he had just like a receding like hairline with like bright blue hair, and like a big like diamond painted over one eye. He looked very scary. That's a creepy Wait, clown. Think about how awesome it would be. What if in the whole movie there was always a scary clown in the background? Like that, that was never the twist. She, yeah. the, she calls was, up like, the orphanage, <laughs> and they're like, "She's actually always being followed by an evil clown." It, turn, it turns out Esther's parents are still alive, and the clown is the orphan. Oh my god! <laughs> she orphaned Imagine that clown, and now it's pursuing her. What if they called up the orphanage and they said, I, "Everyone's asleep, but can I please put a blanket over the clown statue that's in your bedroom?" Fuck. And then the orphanage says. There is no clown statue in the bedroom. Please get that out. That never scared it's a me as a clown. kid. It felt too unrealistic. Who the fuck it has a clown the fuck out statue? Of me. Well, I think there'd yeah, probably be tons of, of clown statues in a, an orphanage. One for every child. Mm. You want to make you want to make it as creepy as possible. <laughs> That's how you keep the children obedient. It's, it's just make, it's a it's... low level of like psychological terror. Yeah, orphanages should have themes. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> like horror themes. Yeah. Yeah, clowns. Zombies. Romance. Maybe like a real. If your kids are acting up, like I'm gonna send you to the fucking Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Orphanage. I'm gonna send you to you the underwater. Oh, speaking of like not disciplining your kids, I think they let Esther get away with too much. If I'd adopted a fucking orphan kid, they'd be on a thin mm-hmm. line. I could send you back like that. Yeah, because it's like a rescue dog. That's what I'm saying. They start pissing in the house. Like if gone. Yeah. Dead. They show a little bit of aggression. They swear once. Yeah, that's I'm, what I say. The fucking if if the kid says drops the f bomb on you, I'm hmm. kicking that fucking little yeah. Russian freak outside. Yeah, into the world. Because that's a big hammer and kind of smashing her out the window. <laughs> I'm gonna do Uncle Phil uh, to Jazzy Jeff, and I'm gonna throw her. <laughs> you grab her by her belt <laughs> and just like swing her. Yes. Yeah, um, the the husband is the one we find. Uh, the husband's name, I think, is John, and he he finds mm. that like he mm. hears some singing. He's kind of, you know, he doesn't want to mix with all okay. the other kids. He's, so he, he's very strange. Yeah. He's looking for the wolf. He like goes child. off. Yeah, he he goes off by himself yeah. to like look at all the kids and see which one he wants most. That's a bit, It's I don't think they should be and allowed. He has some singing in the classroom. Yeah, it's, got- it's a really nice classroom. Um, mm. It is. And Esther's there. Painting a picture of a lion. She tells him a story about the lion. And he's like, wow. Wow. Yeah, they get taken in way too easily. They're like, oh, she's it, so good yeah. at painting. And she's so smart. Because she says, like, I don't even remember what she says, but she says some shit about, like, learning to be who you are or live and let live. Some bullshit. Or something. Yeah. Some, some fucking bullshit these liberal fucking yuppies are going to buy into. <laughs> Yeah. She gets them hook, line, and sinker, basically, and they adopt her, mm. and they they go. The nuns like, yeah, three weeks, and you can have this child. The child market is kind of a weird. Oh, concept. I think I'm, I missed I missed the three weeks, mm. but I thought they just took her home like, immediately. No, oh, no, they did. They they, 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 they took her in the sequence of the film. There was no gap. Like she says, three weeks, and then they take her home, but it skips that part. No, I thought it was three weeks to do the paperwork, but they were allowed to just take her. I think Harry's right. Really? Yeah. I think it's really weird. Oh my god. What they fucking shady operation are they running yeah, here? It is. Well, no wonder they can't track her back in Yeah, it's, it's like they just the let them leave. just like picking one off the shelf. Very strange. I think that they did like a house check or something. I think they mentioned that in the therapy session that she she wouldn't, if she wasn't ready, she wouldn't have passed the like house check or whatever. Yeah. So I think there was there was some kind of protocol. It didn't just she didn't just like go and just grab a free child. Yeah, they they send a guy around with and I he goes around barefoot and he's got massive feet and he's looking for um, spikes and kind of sharp objects on the floor. Yeah, Legos on the floor. 
If you've got any of them, Bug then you're not allowed to adopt a pound. Yeah. But, they check the amount of beers you have in the fridge. Yeah. If you have more than eight, that's it. <laughs> you're done. That's it, you get the kit. That's the guy with a big nose who's really good at counting. And he goes around and he sniffs out all the alcohol in the house. One second, I've got to knock at the door. Take this out. <laughs> so... He meets the kid, Esther, and he like shakes the kid, huh? shakes her hand, and she has a weird foreign accent. And she's got ribbons. I don't know. I would have picked a normal kid. Yeah. I wouldn't pick fucking... I mean, there's a lot of kids there. I don't want to pick the goth kid, you know? I was... Pick one of the kids wearing like an awesome puffer jacket or something, not like... The kid who has the most oh, swag, just... you got to just walk in there and just pluck him out. Mm-hmm. It's so literally you can give a positive example to your kids. But instead they get like the weird kid. Yeah, the weird, weird kid whose parents died really in the house need a kid her adopted parents. Mm. You have to assume the kid did it. Yeah, I mean, who else? Exactly. You have weird, to... No one's going to set their own house kid, on fire. Like, this is just yeah. the kind of horror movie logic, though, if they've never heard of horror tropes. Like, no one's ever heard of horror tropes in these, like, things. Otherwise, yeah, they, they would be like, they'd they be like, like why, why do I want this creepy-ass kid? They've never watched the Orphan. <laughs> yeah, they never watched Chucky. Yeah, because Chucky yeah. is another little orphan, orphan boy. boy who they adopt. I love Chucky. I like how Chucky is voodoo. Yeah, he that's so awesome. fucking sick. Chucky's such an awesome movie. He probably is an orphan. I mean, he's kind of an old guy. He transforms into Chucky. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they adopt the kid and they go back to their house. The house is nice. The house is crazy. It's like um, I love. I think that it's kind half of nice, like, half not. No, I love that kind of like modern. I, I like, hate it. I wouldn't want to live that. Glass, it's huge. big square house. I thought the windows were cool, and I liked the little bit where it goes up for the piano. Mm. But the exterior looks like shit to me. No, I like it, especially because it's in the woods. The location mm. for like the fucking movie mm. is so sick. Yeah, it's like in the middle of nowhere. Very, yeah, very rich couple. Snowy, it's piney too forest. Yeah, They're not right. Yale money. Considering neither of, them an do, neither of them do any fucking work the whole time. No, he does. He does architecture work. He does it in his house. Oh, so that's why they have a weird yeah. house. Well, he's been, pra- he's weird been house practicing on that Yeah, house. but it's... It's just kind of... Kind of yeah, this is <laughs> Testing out all those ideas on the same kind of building. They have to keep rebuilding it. So, yeah. She fucking... Oh, uh, yeah, they, she moves yeah they, in, and they show and her around. And they have a gift giving. And um, they show her room, and she's got a crazy fish tank. Mm. And I've got a story. I've got With a story a about light. fish tank. Um, Hit me. So, like, I think this was when I was like maybe eleven or something. Um, okay. I was around my friend's house, and we were kind of like sticking our fingers in the fish tank in his room, and kind of like touching the fish's tail. And then his like younger brother comes in, who was probably like maybe five or seven or something, and he just like grabs one of the fish, just rips it out of the water. Just throws it like really hard at the wall. He doesn't say anything. He just, okay, it's so all like happens in like twenty seconds, or like ten seconds maybe. It just it just goes like it just goes splat against the wall. It's horrible. What the fuck? <laughs> he just grabbed this like goldfish out of the tank. Just walloped it. Did he seem like he'd already done it before? I don't know. I guess not. Did he seem see? Did he seem well seasoned? Because because his mum was just like, what 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 have you done that? That's orphan behavior. That's the shit. Yeah, that's that's what happens. Him. He's acting like an orphan. Maybe he was an orphan. He looked mm. a bit different. He had like um, my friend had like short brown an hair, and, and the little brother had like massive like curly blonde hair. Did he dress like a little he Victorian looked... boy? Yeah, he had a little flat cap. <laughs> yeah, on. He had a little flat cap. On. He acted so <laughs> he acted so sweet to you, and then when the parents went away, he like had like an evil smile. <laughs> his face twisted yeah, on him like the Cheshire cat. I think Sometimes they used to would, say that um, the people in Turkey it. thought it was magic or something because they used to come up to like <laughs> they went on a holiday to uh, Turkey and um, these like, strangers kept coming up and like running their hands through his hair and trying to like scrunch his hair up I think it's because like he takes his flat cap off and he ruffles <laughs> his hair and soot comes out so maybe they thought and he yeah, was doing magic for back into the cap and he sticks it back on <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> like scoops it all up. It's like, it's like, like a genie Disney magic. He's a Disney orphan. Disney orphan, but throws for fish against the wall. Disney's orphan, like a like a Pixar version of this movie. Hmm. Well, they're making you know, a new one. Bob would be and it so might... hot. You know, Kate would be so hot in the Pixar version. 
<laughs> so yeah, who's William? They go. Blake, so they go to the house and they start giving this kid all these gifts, all these awesome presents. And that she and the Max gives her a, a sign language dictionary, which is kind of like it's kind of a gift you want, you know. So when you give something someone someone something you actually want, so you can use it. Yeah, but I guess she's starved of conversation because it's either her mom or nobody. So that is true. Her brother yeah, doesn't know shit. Yeah, you can't, it was crazy, and I like how the the brother learns a bit of sign yeah. language at the end. But. So the brother starts off like such like a little like, like horrible little shit. He's, he's so shit. cool. He's, he's, so he's just like cool. they're giving Essa like so her presents and stuff, and he's just like playing Guitar Hero with his friends really loud, and be I like, "Dad, look at me! Dad, look at me!" Band. I have a feeling he's playing Beatles Rock Band. Like I think the characters. Are oh, that's kind of I, I embarrassing. Why is that embarrassing? So. That's cool. I thought he was cool, but if he's a Beatle guy, then the Beatles are cool. Then who? You're telling me a, a, a guy talks about like a, a magical rainbow. Elephant, you think that's not an awesome song? He sounds a little gay. The Beatles were not gay. They got puss. They were... No, the Beatles <laughs> got puss. Is this going to be in the episode? Stop asking if things are going to be in the episode, because if you ask it, <laughs> I'm going to make sure it is. I'm editing this one. It's going to sound so bad. It's fine. So, so they're playing outside, Esther and Max and shit. And then uh, Thingy is in his treehouse. What's the brother's name? Oh, Daniel. Daniel's in the treehouse. And they got some pornos. Mm. Yes. It's a crazy treehouse. It's huge. Awesome. Yeah, it's a fucking hench yeah. tree. Just like a secret, huge. like, fucking compartment. Do you think the dad built the, built the porno mm-hmm. compartment? I mean, they're all really old pornos, so I have to assume so. It's why pretty stuck. Would, why would... A 2010s, like, fucking 12-year-old have a bunch of hustlers and playboys and shit. That's true, actually. In 2010, you just, like, go on your iPod Touch and just, like, look at... I guess they stole that from, like, their parents. That's what I'm saying. They got... They stole it from their parents. They found it in the woods or something. It feels very throwback. Did you guys ever find pornos in the woods? I found, like... Yeah, we found... We were on, like, a friend's birthday Mm -hmm. party. We found, like, just, like, scraps... They've been kind of like scraps demolished, of which is like scraps of kind of being so haughty that you're world. just like vigorously shaking the magazine. You're, te- you're tearing it to pieces, and you're jerking off in the woods. It's just like bits and pieces kind of really spread out throughout the woods. Maybe it's um, a Hansel and Gretel type situation. Yeah. Mm. Two guys, they're both really horny in the yeah, woods. They're, they're, they're just, just like kissing the trails, and they can find their back. <laughs> of torn up vintage porn. And they, they come to a house made out of cornflakes. Why cornflakes? Uh, stop, stop you getting horny. Oh yeah, he was one of those guys. Was he the same guy who invented digestives? Because I think digestive biscuits were a similar thing. I think it was just kind of. I think it was just a trend at the time. Food that makes you not jack off. Mm. We need to get back to that. I don't know what they do at the treehouse. I think it's just like a short little scene. That's literally all they do yeah. is just go, <laughs> pornos! There's, like, there's a lot of like, little kind of short kind of clips. Yeah, just establishing their yeah. family life. This is quite nice. That's quite well. Esther's fitting in. Uh, I mean, she's fitting in at home, yeah. but she's not fitting in at school. Because she's dressing like a damn freak. Yeah. She, um... Yeah, she cut, she, um... She's always wearing these ribbons around her kind of... Her neck and her wrists. And they, they look really ugly with some of her outfits. They look, they look alright with like some of them, but the th- when she first goes to school, it's just, it just just doesn't work at all. I didn't really think about that stuff. I'm kind of a, a guy. So. Yeah, well, that's that's your problem. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm glad that we've got the dr- the the dress perspective. <laughs> I oh uh, hang on, and just before that um. Kate goes onto John's covers to try and like give him a little kind of something, something, and um, it wakes up Esther, and then Esther, I think, like intrudes on them deliberately. Yeah, she's trying to cock block. Yeah, it's 
kind of a thing. Uh, I guess that's like her plan because um, at the end she like tries to seduce the dad. That's the kind of thing. Yeah. So she's just she's she's just cock blocking him. The twist is to make him I'm really like blue board. Twi- <laughs> Man, I'm so horny. I could fuck my adopted <laughs> child. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyway, she goes to fuck it. Oh, the the little shit kid shoots the pi- uh, Daniel shoots a pigeon with a fucking yeah. He's got a crazy paintball little paintball gun. pistol. Mm. He's like yeah, like a high they power so many toys. rifle, and he's like he's a, being an evil little shit. They can't blame they can't blame Daniel for being the way he is. They've given him nothing mm. but guitars and paintball guns and skateboards and made him just an evil little kid. It's true, but yeah, he hits a pigeon. And the pigeons fucking, the pigeons die, yeah, and, yeah, the and then orphan kills it. She just picks up. This, she like picks up this big stone. And she's like, "Yeah, you have to put it out of this misery." It's just like you expect her to kind of like crush its head or something. It's just, just no, like it completely flattens it. <laughs> like flattens it on its body. She it explodes. It's, really, it's a horrible. Lot of the, a, lo- a lot of the blood effects in this are like fucking super juicy. Like every time there's a big like someone gets hit, yeah. there's lots of blood. Like the the way they do it with the CGI, it's like really gushing. It's a really out. violent explosion with the paper. Yeah, that was awesome. Just kab- um, and then she's going through the room. She's got a uh, thingy. Mum is going through orphan's room, and she finds this weird black book, mm. and then a picture falls out. But then she just hides it and puts it back. Um, she gets bullied at school, and there's a mean bully girl. Yeah. I, I, I hate this mean bully girl. She says, Jesus Jesus bitch. freak brought a Bible to school today. Because she's an awesome atheist. Yeah. Yeah, she's... She <laughs> she's one of those cool atheist girls that you always had at school. Yeah. I, I, I was one of those those Christian kids who got bullied. <laughs> I had my back. I had my big backpack on full of Bibles, and like they'd fucking they'd, they'd yeah. like zip it open and make me drop all of them. Carrying around your your big statue of Jesus. Yeah, I'm like hey, Poindexter, you believe that we were all created by an omnip- omnipotent being? And then yeah, they used to make me read Richard Dawkins, <laughs> dunk my head in the toilet. They make you look at a fish <laughs> and, a, and a monkey. <laughs> they make me look at a fish with legs. <laughs> they make you look at a fish and a monkey and a person. <laughs> uh, oh, so she fucking when she does when she bullies the girl, she tries to touch her ribbons and then she screams. And this shot where she screams is so funny because they have like an action cab, like it's following her face while she's going like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> like she's like she's screaming and the camera's following her face around. And it's so fucking yeah, funny. Like it zooms in. It's like a music video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd love Esther to make a music video. It's awesome. Video. She'd probably make some fucking yeah. bullshit. She makes some crazy, crazy metal music about being an orphan. I don't think she'd make metal. No, she made like cold wave. She's like goth. She's Russian. That's true. That's what they yeah, make. Yeah, she make YouTube recommendation call. Yeah, literally. Yeah, she would, <laughs> it would just be like fucking YouTube recommendations music. So they they're fucking in the next scene. They're doing the do yeah. in the kitchen, which is kind of like you have bare kids in the house. Why are you fucking in the kitchen? Know, sure. to get these people are crazy. It's very strange. They're just those yeah, crazy these animals. Damn liberal parents. Yeah, they think they oh, I've got a really yeah. big house. It'd be you know take a you know a few minutes for the children to get from their bedroom quarters to the kitchen, but no, they're wrong. Because uh, yeah, and Esther watches them. Yeah, Esther just kind of like barges in. She doesn't barge in. She's like outside. She slams them. the door open. Uh, uh, oh! And she says, "She says no." Up. Yeah, she's been a damn Jesus freak. She goes in, she puts the Bible in between them, in between their crotches. Yeah. She she push, she pushes his todger back into himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then and then Kate like the next day like tries to have like a conversation with her, and she's like, yeah, you know. And Essa goes, I know the parents fuck. They fuck. They fuck. They're a fucking. <laughs> They're a fucking. 
Yes, they're making fun. <laughs> Yeah, and that's some vulgar ass bullshit. But what do they expect from an orphan? I know. Orphans have that's seen true. some shit, you know. Orphans have, have been around the block. Of course, they know the yeah. fuck word. Well, they've heard some swears. And you should you yeah. should never bully an orphan because then the orphan will push you off a climbing frame and break your leg. True. So that was the bully girl. Yeah. Um, yeah. She ran ran a little pink like, uniform. Yeah. There's a scene where the mum and the dad are talking about how Esther swear, uh, swore, and there's a really weird bit where, like, so they do a little joke between themselves about swearing in the house, and she's like, "When you fucking do oh. something, who calls her a bitch?" Yeah, I like, it's like that. she. Well, she's like, no, it was so strange. But it was like, so she, she's like, "Oh, let's just fucking swear then, yeah." And then she, uh, the guy's like, "All right, bitch," and then she goes, "Oh." It's just strange. I thought it was he, funny. They've had they've shown a couple of times that the couple has like a they have banter, you know. No, they, they don't. Do. When they go to the orphanage, no, they don't. When they go to the orphanage. The guy's like a pedophile. When they go to the He's orphanage. Strange. The guy says, "Look, a snow orphan," and then she goes, "Snow orphan," and he goes, "Snorphan." Yeah, he's quirky. Like they have like a they have a quirky kind of vulgar sense of humor. They're they're a bit edgy. You yeah. know, they're kind of cool. Parents. Whenever he's. Um... He's a damn Wait, awesome I think you need a bit of kind of a, a you know choking about kind of relationship if um, your husband cheated on you. Yeah, so they kind yeah, of they kind of mention it a few times throughout the film, but it's not like a major part. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they go to the park after that. After that, he calls her a bitch, and then yeah, she pushes a kid. She the kid breaks their fucking leg in a pretty gnarly way. Like it really fucking snaps. Yeah. And then she says she didn't do it says that the girl slipped and Max covers for her. Oh, that, yeah, that's at the dinner table. What do you think of the food? Like, what was the food? They had like, they had like four things on the plate. It was like a really well done steak. There was some like kind oh, of sour yeah. and carrots, some sweet corn, and then some kind of like. And he says, "Why else. can't you cut it up normal? Why can't I you?" Eat I don't understand that at all. She just cutting oh, yeah. up. She was the just steak cutting up normal. all the pieces. Yeah, she didn't even start eating yet. I guess it's because she's like hanging it up before goes she on the, the Yeah, he goes on a Trump Which style rant and says that she should go yeah, back he's... where she came from. Maybe in Transylvania or wherever you're from, and then he says maybe you should send her back to the retard camp where she belongs. <laughs> Which is Goros hey. burned her. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of won. Yeah, he won me he over there. there. Yeah. But she um, gets him back. Well, that that camp is where they recorded that Black Eyed Peas song, isn't it? Yeah, that's the camp and It's the theme song, yeah. Yeah. They play it on the big, the big the scary of... speakers that they have. <laughs> Every morning, they have to line up. <laughs> so the orphan, yeah, uh, he used to cheat. He is, like says the, like the, he was cheating like 10 years ago, but he told her like two mm. years ago or something. Like, so he had, it was, like, covered up for, like, eight years or some shit. Which I feel, like, kind of shitty. Not, obviously, it's fucking shitty, but there's the way he's acting. He, the whole time he acts, like, fucking, but he talks down to her so fucking much. And it's like, dude, you're such a piece of shit. That's because he's not being able to, you know, get his, his Jimmy's Russell. It's true. Yeah. Well, you think this is all confusion based on the fact that they wouldn't have had any of the misunderstanding between the couple if they were allowed to to make things. That's what all these, all these sex therapists do. online have told me. <laughs> is this movie sex positive? No. Wait. <laughs> yes. You've changed your chin. <laughs> have your own kid. No, wait. Of... Yeah. Okay, tell me. <laughs> well, you have to have your own kid rather than adopting. Because if you adopt, you get a freak mm, child. Mm, mm, mm. Although Daniel isn't really any good. They have Daniel and a deaf kid. They haven't really got very lucky, I guess. And Daniel's okay. Max is like... He's kind yeah, of a I shit. like Daniel. He's kind of a shit. I love Daniel. Daniel was <laughs> low-key my <laughs> ideological hero. You hang out with Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just... I want to play normal. Yeah, I'd like to invite Daniel. Daniel and his friends over to my house to play Guitar Hero and drink Sunny D. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But uh, Max is a, a bit evil because Max joins in with Vespa in like the evil stuff that she does, uh, such as what happens next where they kill the lady from the orphanage. Well, the, the, yeah, the lady from the orphanage evil. shows up at the house. 
Max isn't evil. She's like yes, five years can. old. She's, she's a ba- little I'm baby. She's a very easily influenced child. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm scared that Esther's going to like cut her up into little pieces. And? <laughs> she should... She you're should, acting she like this now, but when I rope you into a murder, you're going to fold. I'm <laughs> not going to say shit. Yeah, I will. You're not going to say I will, that. but I'll, I'll accept my place. I'll, I'll accept my, my court yeah. date. I'll accept my... My... What do you call it? So yeah, the jail. nun shows up at the house, uh, and she's like, oh, there's some inter- some strange things have happened to do with, with Esther. Uh, it's, it might be nothing, but... You know, and she talks about, like, the house burning down yeah. in her previous place and pe- kids getting injured and blah blah blah. And, and while this is happening, Esther gets Max and like gets her to find some keys to unlock the safe and mm. pull the, the family gun out of the safe. And then she just, <laughs> she just like points the gun like just straight at Max's head. <laughs> she puts one <laughs> bullet in the chamber and just like points it just straight at this little girl's she head. She asks if she wants to play, and I was kind of thinking that was funny because she's mm. Russian and she wants to play Russian roulette. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I didn't catch that. That was too. I, mean, that was I don't too know if that's actually me. the point. I don't know if that's the point. But I was kind of thinking like that's that's like a funny thing that they did. Why did they make this like little psycho, like woman, girl well, you, you, play Russian roulette? We find out at the um the end of the film that she's not actually Russian. She's a uh, Estonian. Estonian. So maybe yeah. maybe yeah. she puts one bullet in the chamber, which is to uh kind of construct this. To bolster oh, to this, pretend, yeah, yeah. To bolster this Russian identity that she's constructed for herself. But that's another problem with adoption, really, is that like you try to get a Russian <laughs> kid and it ends up being a so and it's like, yeah. how can you tell was, the difference? Yeah. I can't tell. Like, what it's was, like, what was um, the point? there was a news story ages ago about people who were buying pedals online from like Facebook groups and stuff. Mm. And it mm. turns out that it was just like these weasels that had been pumped for the steroids to give them really curly hair and make them really big. Oh you just get all these crazy, like, roided up like, weasels in your house when you try to get a, a poodle. That's, so that's basically like sick. adopting a, a, a Russian child and it turning out to be Estonian. Uh, I fucking remember when people were buying those tiny pigs and people were getting scammed and just sold oh, like, baby pig. pigs. Yeah, and they would just get sold a baby pig <laughs> and it would just grow into a normal sized yeah. pig. <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Exactly. You have to keep buying bigger and bigger teacups and then it's like, oh, it doesn't only make so many. <laughs> I feel like it's a bargain. You get a bigger pig. <laughs> that is true. If you you could have like three teacup pigs, or you could have one giant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just fucking fat as shit, just snorting all the time. I would actually love a giant pig. That'd be hard. Yeah. I'm buying a pig as instead of like my god dog Rottweiler, I'm getting a big hog, and it stands by my. Work door a lot better. Day. I'd be really freaked out if I tried to break into someone's house would. and they just had like yeah, a, I'd be a beast. terrified. What's a scary noise? A bark or like a hog <laughs> shriek? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Plus, it would like run against the door when it heard something outside. Imagine that you're trying to break into a house and inside there's something like banging against the door with like the force of a hog and it's screeching. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh my god, there's some, so kind of, there's some kind of metal guy in here <laughs> doing some scary vocals. <laughs> Veg out here, he's gonna summon the devil on us. I bet he's wearing a really cool t shirt there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably some kind of guts on it. Yeah. There's a hog on the other side of a door drinking liquid there. I think we should. I think we should kind of <laughs> speed through a few bits. Yeah, speed through, yes, but movie, also like don't be. go. We don't need to rush because like if we have a bit over, yeah, no, it's fine. We can chop it down. We can chop but, it down um, nicely. Yeah. So es- Esther, um, the nun leaves, and Esther kind of like takes Max and they go into the road and she pushes Max into the road in front of the nun's car so the car kind of like slides off and then uh when I was a kid uh well not kid when I was in high school we used to do this thing where we'd like stand by the road and pretend to jump into <laughs> the cars to like freak out the drivers oh yeah <laughs> did you ever do that yeah, yeah we got chased around lots of one time near Tom <laughs> that shit is so funny just fucking like stand there and then just go <laughs> <laughs> like pretend to jump in front of the car. <laughs> yeah, we, we used to paint dinner plates with a big red button on top, and we used to just put them all over the road outside our house. Like a minefield. Oh, like a mine. <laughs> like a cartoon <laughs> mine. Yeah, we used to dress up with like balaclavas and just kind of um, stand by the hedges near school. 
and uh yeah we used to uh Kyra. paint like a tunnel we used to paint a tunnel <laughs> on the wall like a hyper realistic tunnel people would drive straight into it and they drive so fast their car would turn flat yeah we we used to we turn used to we used to turn people's teeth into piano keys yeah mike oh mate where i fucking grew up it was so rough <laughs> Get anvils dropped on you. <laughs> you walk out of the house, you get anvil drops on you. Oh, your head would just ache so badly the next day. Yeah, yeah. you go to school and you can't even tell what maths was. I got mugged for my blackberry with a stick of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> that's what um, that's what Danny Trejo I think used to do. He used to go into like convenience I'll stores. Rob people with sticks. We used of dynamite. to go into like convenience stores with like a like a grenade. I think it. I think it was him. It was either him or someone else. That's fucking yeah. amazing. You just go. You know. Hey. Hey. Give me some sweeties. <clears throat> I've got a big grenade. <laughs> it used to be that committing evil would get you into Hollywood really yeah. fast. And you get a cool tattoo of um, a sexy lady on your belly. Robert Downey Jr. did drugs and got into Hollywood, and I think that's just mm. a sign of where it's going. And now he becomes a, a robot man. Probably because his body can't function yeah. with all weed in it. Yeah, that thing in his heart is actually pumping straight weed into his into his body. Yeah. And estrogen. Iron Man, more like Iry Man. This guy's a fucking raster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talk about iron. Esther bashes it in the <laughs> bashes it in the man's head with a big <laughs> iron hammer. <laughs> she goes good crazy, just mashes that it. That was up. awesome. <laughs> and uh I think I like missed some notes, but um I don't know how she ends up. Or like uh, maybe um maybe that maybe Daniel kind of sees this kind of happening or something like that, and uh, she ends up putting like a box cutter to his neck. Yeah, so Daniel sees um, them in the treehouse, but oh uh, yeah, hiding the stuff, mm, hiding the body and shit. Yeah, and uh, yeah, she makes him piss himself. Yeah. She says she's gonna cut his hairless <laughs> off, and then he pisses yeah. himself. It's like, come on, man. Yeah, it's not a very nice thing to do. It's not his fault. <laughs> He's like a little kid. It's not his fault he hasn't hit you, but yeah. Mate, yeah, that's. <laughs> she's a very mean orphan. She's a mean old orphan. Yeah, that's emphasis on the old. Yeah. Oh, so uh, yeah, the fucking orphan. They say we're gonna take her to therapy. And so they take her to the therapist, and she, like, lies to the therapist and, like, you know, makes it seem like she's been doing nothing bad and the, the fucking mum's all bad and shit, you know? Yeah, she's, like, a really good manipulator. She's, she's very kinda, smart She's like Patrick age. Bateman or, like, Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. I think it helps that the dad's like basically, like, an genius. Yeah, the dad is, like, so fucking oh, yeah. stupid. Well, because he's just very horny for her, it seems. I don't think he's I think, horny for I think he her. just hates his wife. I think he is. I think, I think he, he is. kind of, yeah, I think he just thinks his wife's, like, a fucking dumbass. Yeah. No, he horny for her. I... I mean, you can tell when he almost he fucks almost her. Right, yeah, she ha- her. He hates it. He does pretty Yeah, close. he's, like, drunk. You're saying this because he didn't see the end of the movie. No, no, no. No, but he, he, he does get, like... I know that he tells her to stop, but I feel like if your nine-year-old orphan girl child is coming on to you, you tell her to stop a bit sooner, I think. He's, he like, too drunk and out of it. For yeah. my taste. She like, like, he drank, like, a whole bottle of wine. She's a child. He could just, like, he could just throw, like, one I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think he handles <laughs> it, like, pretty well. <laughs> I don't think open he fuck the kid. I would handle it. <laughs> I, would let, I wouldn't let anyone think I was a pedophile. Yeah. I would cover that up so well. No one would ever think that I wanted to touch a child. Hey, I just don't trust it. You've got the nuns for show and speed that. For yourself. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, she goes to therapy and no one believes the mum and they think she's a dumb bitch. And then they get a call because the cops have discovered the nun's body. Mm. And oh, she gets a call from the nunnery and the cops show up and say that, yeah, we discovered this nun's body and she was supposed to be here. Yeah. Uh, And they talk about it. And then it cuts to Thingy's room, Esther's room. Yeah. And she's got some paintings on the walls. She painted all these crazy, like, black light posters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought that was kind of sick, but also, I'm used to seeing, like, a wizard. Yeah. Or uh, some mushrooms with, like, a Yeah, happy it'd, be, it'd be cool if she light. painted, like, you know, happy mushrooms and, like, spirals and stuff instead of, like... Like an alien yeah. that's giving a peace sign? Yeah, an alien giving a peace <laughs> sign awesome. instead of, like, someone burning to death in a building. 
Go get a shot. Yeah, if it was like if it was like some Alice in Wonderland bullshit, like that would be so yeah. sick. That's the orphan's dark secret. Yeah. She just loves smoking meat. Yeah, it's just like a, a beautiful portrait of Cheech and Chong. <laughs> She turns the black light on and it's just a perfect <laughs> recreation of like Robert Crumb illustrations all in black light. Yeah. She's drawing like a big tribute to Cheech Wizard. <laughs> I do kind of want a black light room like that. Like it looks normal when you turn the black light on and it's just mm. fucking. Come all over no. the walls. No, it'd be, it'd be sneezing. You have to keep your shit tight though. Yeah. You, have to, you have to keep your shit tight if you have a black light room. <laughs> You can't do any. You can't have any bullshit. No, no cum shirts on the floor. No fucking. You have to have a series of kind of tubes and funnels. <laughs> you need to sterilize your room yeah. every day. Yeah, you know those like kind of the squirty bottles that you have in the science lab that um, you have distilled water yeah. in, but you have it like isopropyl alcohol, kind of clean off everything. Yeah, I need a decontamination chamber that goes into my room that just like sprays me with like fucking chemical cl- like sanitizer. And then I go into my awesome black light room and I get yeah. wicked high. Sprays you with radioactive chemicals to sterilize you. Yeah. And then you glow as well. No, Glowy. I'm not supposed to glow, that's the point. <laughs> glow bright green. I'm not supposed to have any glowing areas around my house <laughs> where you get a tiny bit of piss on it. That's the thing that always scared me about black light, is sometimes you do get a tiny bit <laughs> just on like your jeans. You just pretend that you've been bleeding. <laughs> yeah. So I think blood shows under. Oh, well. it's blood, guys! It's blood. It's bl- I'm bleeding. Okay. I was on my period. Going into the black light rave and I just instantly start bleeding. <laughs> like a like a fucking radius around my crotch is just completely like bright. And it's like guys, it's fine. It's just blood. It's like a perfect spiral because you're laying on your back. <laughs> it's come out like a Mr. Whippy machine. <laughs> God, it's the one at the fucking door again. Back into it. Um, the black light scene. Very cool. Very cool room. And then we cut to mum. And she's looking up diagnosis on her laptop. <laughs> she's like reading the DSM yeah. and just like fucking going She's googling through. why is my child evil. She, she, she googles BPD at one point which really made me laugh. Because like I don't think Esther seems like a BPD kind of person. <laughs> BPD people aren't that evil. They just post yeah, like sad. They post images of like a sad brat doll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's looking up crazy shit and trying to find some diagnosis for the adopted freak child. And then she finds one and she's talking to. Wait. I'm just looking at my fucking notes here. Time. Oh, yeah, so the next day Esther doesn't want to go to the dentist or some shit and she stays home and then the dad's like oh, let's draw together and then she says, like, he says like, you should do something nice for your mum, she loves you, blah 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 and then she goes and cuts all the fucking roses that are like from the pot that's dedicated to her like stillborn yeah. child or like a miscarriage it's so she's evil. Like, it's like the most evil yeah, thing she she's, done. she's literally like a rare. She's. Have you ever seen Single White Female? No. Mm-hmm. It's like a psychological thriller about like a chick who like moves in with this like, this girl, and then she slowly starts like copying her and dressing like her, and like tries to steal her boyfriend, and like like tries to steal her life, and she's very like sadistic in the same way it gave me a lot of similar vibes of just like someone just coming in like upending your life and manipulating people against you and shit yeah I hate it when that happens it happens, it happens it never all the time to me. I would never let some fucking psychopathic walk yeah. into and ruin my shit and then, and then Kate like cause obviously like Esther's been fucked up she just like grabs her and she like tells her off and uh gets a bit hysterical yeah. And then later on, Esther, like, puts her own arm in, like, a vice in the woodshop. Yeah, she breaks her own arm. Yeah. And she goes, <laughs> She's, like, whimpering. And then, like, she goes back to bed and she's like, Oh, Daddy, my, my arm really hurts. And it's, like, all green and, like, sticking out at a weird angle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Like, 
I, honestly, I would have been fucking impressed if my wife could break an orphan's yeah. arm with a grab. Bless these orphan bones. They're not what they used to be. No. <laughs> they don't get fed any any calcium. Yeah, she's just like thick. That's her ultimate weakness. That's what yeah. they should have used against her. Thin bones. I've got bones made out of like crusted cream biscuits. Um, yeah, and then the dad like tells Kate like, mm, maybe maybe you should sleep downstairs. I think <laughs> I think Esther should sleep in my bed tonight. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one time that's you know yeah. like it's ca- like it's kind of weird. Yeah, and and uh, actually, Kate, maybe you shouldn't be my wife. Maybe Esther should be my wife now. Yeah, maybe I should have a, this child as my bride. Maybe I should have a child bride from the Eastern European Union. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so she starts drink. She starts drinking again. She has one sip and she throws it out. Yeah, and it's kind of like a kerfuffle about it. Um, yeah, and Esther finds out and tells the psychologist, and they say she needs to go to Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah, these kind of stories really piss me off. Where like. One person knows, and everyone thinks they're crazy. Yeah, I know it's, like it's, the whole it's quite point. frustrating, but I think it... It's a very frustrating it's, film. It's done all right in this film. It's done a lot worse than like no, a lot of other it, films. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I think the, the mm. film was well made, and, like, you know, well written and stuff, but, yeah, that bit fucking yeah. just pisses yeah, me off. Yeah, Esther's, like, much. gaslighting, like, Kate and, like, putting a car in neutral yeah. in the school run, so it falls yeah, down the hill. Yeah, that seems crazy. That seems crazy. Yeah. Car's going so fast. It's a really fast car. Um, yeah, I love putting my my school on the top of a steep <laughs> icy hill. Yeah, it's, it's just a race that kind of spirals around, just loop de loop. It goes over a big active volcano. Yeah, welcome to Dead Man's Curve Elementary School. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> the sun grabs the crowbar. <laughs> He's gonna check it. Okay. Alright, so I feel like I skipped some shit. I here. think you need to tell off Harry. What? I think Harry's being too Harry dopey. Doing? He's been like me last episode. What the fuck are you doing? I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> Explain yourself. He's falling I asleep. No, I'm not. Are you falling asleep? No, I'm not. Harry, could you do a funny riff right now? <laughs> yeah, tell, tell us a joke. Um, you, have you guys, tell us what happens you next in the bread? film. Well, I know that they yeah, go tell to us the what happens next but I don't remember. I don't like. I don't remember a crowbar. Uh, because you didn't watch this movie. I did. I get. Yeah, it was <laughs> a lie. It was a two-hour movie. Lying. And I got, I got saboteur. Bored of it, but I, saboteur. I watched all but the ending, which I've watched in clips now. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a. I, no, because I know that they go to the hospital, and that's where my notes are again. But there are very big yeah. parts where I just like I see nothing worth like. Noticing, but they, they end, they end anyway, up in the so hospital. So this is what sends him to the hospital. This yeah. is what sends him to the hospital. Yeah. He goes to investigate. Oh, the she sets it on fire. Daniel. Cause okay, yeah. Like See, Daniel goes to investigate the treehouse. Yeah. He grabs his crowbar, yeah. which is a crazy because she runs out very yeah. fast. She's yeah. really good. She sets like, on fire and he setting a treehouse on fire from one yeah. side of a room and like like he is closest to the hatch. Yeah, and he's just she's doing Cluedo shit the whole time. Yeah, she's like running through the manor and just like taking yeah. people out with like different shit. <laughs> She's going Cluedo mode. It's like Quantum of Solid. She went Professor Plum. <laughs> I wish I fucking had a name like that. That'd be so yeah. sick. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Marmalade. <laughs> Mr. Mangoes. <laughs> Mr. Mangoes. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a title, so it has to be Mr. The Sergeant something. Pineapple. No. Fu- well. Get the fuck out. Fuck off. Uh, it has to be a alli- it has to be alliterative. Uh, <laughs> Sergeant Slime, <laughs> the edible slime. Uh, General Goop, Sergeant Salt. Uh, Brigadier, Brigadier, the biggest melon that you've ever seen. Ooh. <laughs> um, Captain Crunchy Food. <laughs> I love Crunchy Food. <laughs> Captain Crisp. <laughs> I love Captain Crisp. He's my yeah. favorite character to play as. <laughs> he's like really fat and covered in problems. <laughs> yeah, you can see what rooms he's been in. There's a trail of kind of sliced up yeah. fried potato. Yeah, father fried chicken, the priest. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, well. So, so. Uh, yeah, prison. <laughs> <laughs> I can think of so fucking many of these. 
Wow. <laughs> That's because, it's because you love titles. I love titles and I love food. <laughs> The two things coming together is Your power. perfect job would be a writer <laughs> yeah. for Pluto. Or Happy Families. I could think of the names of the families in the card. Mr. Baker. <laughs> Mr. Painter. <laughs> the Painter family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they find out that fucking Russian cunt is actually from an insane asylum. Yeah. Well, that's off to the hospital, no? Or is it... Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, they go to the I hospital. I think it's like fucking... Yeah, but I guess it's like oh yeah, after. and she tries to kill yeah. Daniel yeah. in the hospital. No, she tries to kill Daniel yeah. in the hospital, yeah. and it's after. But then also the mom like attacks us for she, she slaps gets, the yeah, yeah she gets really awesome. mad. And then what happens in movies whenever they're in a hospital is that there's always a nurse with like a big syringe of sleep juice. Yeah. <laughs> so they so they do that. Give nightmare yeah, juice. I was gonna say what if what if what if they got nightmare juice in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's big purple liquid. She's about to stick it into Daniel. So kind of I'm s- cure I'm, actually in midst, I'm in the midst of a suit for medical malpractice right now. <laughs> nightmare <laughs> juice instead. Of- <laughs> Maybe that's. I was supposed the- to be getting a filling. Uh, <laughs> giving me like lidocaine. But they actually uh, injected me my jaw with nightmare yeah. juice. I had a horrible nightmare, nightmare about, about them about putting the food into my teeth. Yeah, they replaced my my fillings with gum. They put crisps in my in my teeth. Yeah, they took all my teeth They're out. They replaced all my stuff. teeth with crisps. They made all my teeth like the, really like, small, those gummy teeth. Yeah. I was thinking just the gummy teeth and gums. Yeah, they replaced each tooth with all the gummy gums. Would you? Oh God. Would you guys get the Turkish uh, the Turkish teeth? Well, the Turkish, the teeth. Turkish teeth are all like the English people are doing now. They go to Turkey and they get like all of their teeth. Oh, dude, oh, no, are you kidding me? I would love that. Well, no, teeth yeah, so I guess bad. they're like. I would love no. big white teeth. But they get them ground Giant down to teeth. pegs. They yeah. get every tooth ground down they get to like little a baby crazy teeth. peg. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so awesome. Wait, what is that? What? Oh, and then they, yeah. they get the tooth put on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how they no, do it. No, it's insane. They don't do it right. That's like how they would you do like a crown. Yeah. I would fucking do it. I want a huge mouth of shining white teeth. Like, like the ones that are so big that your mouth stays open all the time. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. That That's would look really good, actually. We could. That would look so could, sick on me. We could do a video pod instead if you got those. If I had that, I would get I would get super tan. I'd start wearing a suit all the time. <laughs> yeah. I would look you could be a, like a, an estate agent. Yes. That Slick would be my good. hair back, yeah. ponytail. <laughs> yeah. You'd be the most fucked up estate agent. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine like you now we're just like fuck you dog perfect. fuck you dog <laughs> with like massive teeth and just like this long hair just like walking around showing people like that. yeah <laughs> just the sleaziest to stay agent ever <laughs> you're wearing your, your fucking battle jacket <laughs> getting your incisors like the exact same like uh, they're just like, bigger you just got like, huge sharp teeth that come down <laughs> <laughs> I would maybe get that. I would get the huge. If you were getting, if you were getting veneers, mm. why not a vampire? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I would get all sharp teeth. I think, like oh. really big sharp teeth. Who's that guy in James Bond who's got the the metal teeth? Mister Shark or something like that. Shark boy. Shark boy. Yeah. I mean, it will be big something mouth. like that, right? Mister Mouth. Mister Chomper. Mister Shark Mouth. <laughs> His name's Jaws. Well, the guy from James Bond. Yeah. yeah, it's Jaws. Like the shark? I think so. That's sick. Yeah, it's, and the movie's called Jaws Goes to the Moon. The movie's not called Jaws Goes to the Moon. You're a damned liar. Oh, it is. It is Fuck Jaws. Off. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Jaws Goes you... to the Moon. Thank you, Harry. Is it really called Jaws Goes to the Moon? <laughs> oh, Jaws Goes to the Moon. <laughs> well, his name is Jaws. Yeah, it's called, it's called like a... James Bond and Jaws Go to the Moon. James and the Giant Jaws. Richard Keel looks very scary, though. Oh, he was in Happy Gilmore. Moonraker, you damned liar. <laughs> oh, there is on the moon, though. Half yeah. points. See, I've seen like yeah, I've seen like ten minutes of that movie. movie. It seems boring. James Bond is boring. James Bond's really boring. I watched. Um... Shit, I can't remember which one it was. I I think it was as. 
a Pierce Brosnan one. Anyway, the, the beginning literally starts with this chick. She's, like, going to snipe someone. Then James Bond, like, grabs her and, like, puts his hand over her mouth. And then they fuck. Yeah, that's what it all is. It's just like, why does he just, Why do the women just, like, want to fuck him all the time when he's about to kill them? I, like the, I can watch the new ones, but the old ones just look... Like, anyone before whatever his name is, the current guy, Daniel Craig, what? anyone Daniel before Craig. him just seems evil. And James Bond is evil as a guy. He's just an evil guy. I'll say it. Yeah, he's a he's an imperialist. Mm. Yeah, he's an imperialist. He's a capitalist. You're gonna get sent to prevent if you're not careful. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I love, I love, I love satire. <laughs> Should we talk about the end of the movie, Harry? What's happening in the movie, Harry? What's happening in the movie? We're near the end. Yeah, uh, I think like, um, oh, where are we? Oh, yeah, yeah. In the hospital, Essa tries to smother Dan. Um, and then Kate smacks Esther out of the way. And then I think, I, th- I guess they go home. And, like, I think Kate's somewhere else. And, uh. So Kate's in the hospital still. And da- and the dad, Esther, and Max go back to the house. Yeah. And, uh, Esther, like, dresses up in, like, I think it's Kate's, like, morning clothes or something. It's some sort of old, like, black kind of lacy thing. She, like, modifies it to make it child size. Yeah, she makes it whorish as well. Yeah, and she puts on this, all this makeup and she, like, goes down to uh, uh, John downstairs who's getting drunk. And she, like, starts, like, talking to him like, uh, like a CIA operator, operator, talking to, like, an incel. She's like, oh, <laughs> no one else loves you. I bet you want to, you want to be with me and you want to do lots of things for me. And uh, yeah, John, John's not really having it, and he gets all angry. He sounds a bit gay when he gets really angry. <laughs> I don't think it's gay to not want to bang. He gets a little lisp. <laughs> no, <Yeah. laughs> he does kind of have a lisp through the whole thing. He's a god. Yeah. Of, uh... Yeah, I could see him much more as like instead of being a pedo, being a dad who like sucks dick in like bathrooms <laughs> on holiday and stuff. I could way more see him being like a grinder dad. Yeah, definitely a grand at that. Yeah, because you, especially these damn li- these damn rich liberals. Mm. Mm. Well, he's, a, he's an architect. Architects as well, are so yeah. often. Yeah, go on, Harry. Yeah, they're so often gay pedophiles. So. Do you know a lot of them? Huh? <laughs> yeah, you. Know yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. <laughs> I'm not an architect. <laughs> I have no job. <laughs> yeah, that's one architect. You could be an architect. <laughs> Oh, well, hey, hey now! You're building Minecraft. Can you start houses. drawing? Yeah, can you start drawing houses and like, <laughs> killing them to architect firms? Just drawing them in like crayons. Email to children, like, hey, I just drew this house for you. Would you like to go in this house with me? <laughs> if you, you use this, can you send me some? You're money, just going please? up to builders on the building site, for, like a, a picture that you've drawn of like a house or the tree, <laughs> <laughs> the big sun in the sky. It's just a square with a triangle on top. <laughs> So this Holding is, kind of, this like is my vision. And you're like, hey, <laughs> how much for this? Build this for me, guys. This house is better than the one yeah, that you're building. Okay, the roof two years is into red. the project, so you like two years into the project, you just go nuts. You're like, where is the sun? <laughs> it's supposed to be a sun, with sunglasses, and a smiling face. Where is it? <laughs> Where's my mom and dad? <laughs> Where's my mom and dad standing <laughs> in the house? You build the mom and dad to my specifications. Why has this dog got four legs? I said, um, in the drawing, it clearly has three. <laughs> and they're all on one side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this doesn't look like me. I can't even tell this is supposed to be me. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the arrow pointing to it that says me? <laughs> oh, Esther, Esther has like. You can be an architect. Well, he's like crazy. Like, we saw like a bit of the black light stuff, but she just had like it all over her room. And underneath all her other paintings, she's got like these really like, realistic, huge drawings. Of her and John, like, yeah, of them banging. in an embrace. I don't think it's her and John. I think it's Thingy and Kate and John. Because th- she has big boobs. And she's, like, the same Well, I, Esther's been binding throughout the whole movie. I know she's been binding, but it's the f- thing that they're the same eye. I thought I thought it was when she was watching Kate and John bang. I don't know. Before she drew them. I have no idea. I, I mean, she, she's an adult. Watch that so like, yeah, she, it's, like, a call that says yeah. that she's, like, born in the 70s. And she's like a little dwarf. Mm. Oh yeah, so around this time when we discover she is an adult she gets rejected by John and she goes upstairs and she freaks out and she takes all her makeup off and she takes her ribbons off 
He re- reveals like the scars from when she was in a straight jacket and so yeah, on. She's disgusting. When she takes lady. the makeup off, she looks old as shit. She looks old as dirt. She doesn't look, she's a rough thirty three. <laughs> they say she's thirty three and she takes the makeup off, she looks old as dirt. I don't know how they make him in Estonia. Maybe they age quicker, yeah. you know? But she looks like well, she was in a she was in a mental institute for a while, so probably got banged up a mm. bit there. That should make you less fucking wrinkled. Yeah. You're not worried about anything. You're not working. Well, they're, they're, you're just chill. You're hanging they out. They don't really have beds in those kind of institutions. They just have like um, one of those trash compactors from Star Wars that they put all the patients in. That's why she's it's so small. Wet and the walls are closing in. I've seen one flew over the cuckoo's nest. I know how it goes <laughs> in an insane asylum. You play cards. Yeah, you sit around. A big party. You befriend a boy who kills himself after he loses his virginity. Yeah, you have a big party. You have a great time. And you That's go fishing. What, you have a great fucking time. So, yeah, I, I don't know why if she aged from that. I don't think so. It seems pretty awesome to me. Yeah. Well, she, stab, she stabs uh, John. He mangles him all up. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's pretty gnarly. You know, Kate, they Kate comes home and can have a bit of a fight. And then Esther, like, yeah, gets Kate... the gun and, like, shoots her through the glass. Because the Russian... Uh, Insane Asylum called her and said that this person's a dangerous criminal. Yeah. Let's go back to your family now and say. And you have to, you have to kill her. You have to kill this dangerous criminal. You have, you're you're here to on, kill the child. <laughs> but no, but guy on the phone doesn't sound. He sounds like he's Swedish. What are the fuck? Because I wrote, he was like, like them. he was like, no, she's not. <laughs> yes, how did you know? <laughs> he's like that. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> like you have to, you have to go home and save your children and your father now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Well, She's a Swedish killer, you see. One of the greatest um, positions in uh, all of Estonia. That's very true. That's a that's, a, true that's a very true fact. That's a great reference. You really I love the you, you fucking <laughs> you've really fucking uh, got the circle. What's the fucking word? I don't know what the word is. Anyway, you really made that joke. <laughs> oh, that was a good. Yeah, one. I already squared the circle. You Swedish squared the circle. That's the fucking phrase. Are we, are we rectangle with the triangle? I'm gonna edit it out so you didn't <laughs> actually correct me, and I knew what squared the circle was. I can't help being the smartest one here. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're the smart one. Harry's the cute one. Uh, I'm the bad boy. You're the m- <laughs> yeah, you're the bad boy. Because you look like flight. You look like um Ghost Rider. That would be sick. <laughs> If I had a flaming skull head, nothing else changes. We still do the podcast exactly yeah. the same. If my head is always a flaming skull, that'd be so sick. <laughs> I would love to burn Harry with hellfire when he's not paying attention. No, you wouldn't. And Harry Fig doesn't yeah. watch the second half of the movie. I would love to send you to burn in eternal flames. Imagine, imagine the reality of me burning that'd be alive. So right good to you. me. You don't want this. You don't want this. Also, I would have loved to watch the whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> Popcorn time and yeah, I, I don't really. I ran out of space on my like notebook, and I want to keep it to one like two pages, so I don't really have any notes for like the rest of the movie. I think um okay, so Kate like oh, falls on top of Esther and like crushes her. Yeah, they kind of run through the house, and she she shoots uh she shoots Kate in the arm, and then follows the trail of blood, and then Esther, uh, Kate is hiding on the windowsill and. Fucking, that's my favorite shot in the whole thing. Esther walks away from the windowsill and it shows Kate, like, kind of going, you know, breathing a sigh of relief. And then she walks back to the window and goes, <laughs> Like, I sent her pictures to the general. She pulls, like, a yeah, crazy face. So Why does she do hair. that? She just looks out the window, not at her, but she just goes back to the window and makes a crazy face. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, they fight on, they fight on yeah. the ice, don't they? It's like a frozen over lake. They end up, yeah, they fight on the frozen over lake that Max fell into yeah. earlier. Like, it before the film started um and then they str- straggle around and they get stuck in the icy water and sh- there's an awesome scene where she's like mommy you're not going to let me die <laughs> and then she fucking boots she's like i'm not your mommy yeah she, she kicks her in the, her in the face it's, it's great so awesome it's like slow motion her head goes back like it's like yeah it's like she's getting like shot with like a shotgun or something she literally does like a mortal combat fatality yeah. on her and it's so and then she reaches <laughs> down into the the ice icy water and she rips her spine out and she kind of whips yeah. it around <laughs> yeah exactly she gets a lizard head <laughs> fucking yeah. completely bites the orphan she turns into a baby yeah though i hated those ones i hate the babality yeah i think that's how the end of the film like 
Esther basically like disappears. Yeah. They just escape, yeah, and uh, they doesn't really show the conclusion after that. They they just and they escape. all live happily ever after. We're making except for the We're dad who should have trusted his wife. Mm. If he trusted his wife, he would have still been alive. Mm. Or or he should have just like stayed with a woman that he slept with instead, and then none of this would have that's happened. So true. Yeah, there, yeah, you know what? That's so true. That's the that's the lesson of this film. If you cheat, you yeah. have to stick with them. You have to leave your mm. partner and just yes. move on. It's your body telling you. But he could have had two wives. That's true. And he should have stopped. Yeah, or free if he Different got that state. woman that asked about mm. homeowners association. All under the same roof. He could build them all a home. Yeah, but what if they all want to adopt an orphan at the same time? <laughs> three no, evil, three evil, three evil, evil orphans. orphans at once. You cannot battle three evil orphans at once to one. That's day. what the, that's what the sequel should be. Yeah, but I don't three, believe three evil orphans, but they're stopping me from having sex. My three wives. That's hell. That's fucking hell. That is hell, actually. I wish I could have sex with just one of my yeah. three wives. Just, just once. once. You have like a sister wife situation. I just situation. want to have sex with my wife. Anyone. But all the. I just want to bang my wife without a damn orphan getting in the way. But then the, 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 all the wives adopt a different mm. evil orphan from a different Eastern European country. <laughs> Maybe he needs like an awesome child-free wife. Yeah, he needs an epic r slash child-free cool. wife who hates the evil kids yeah. and he can just bang all the time. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the episode yeah we basically figured out that Orphan 2 John's awesome <laughs> journey that's, that's the sequel he actually survived the, the attack and it's about him getting three wives <laughs> okay that's the end of the movie wow well, thanks well, for well, listening well, thanks for enjoying this awesome episode that we yeah did. it's another okay. classic normal classic it's, it's another, another one when I see you every day I say <laughs> it's a classic. Okay, bye. When you're passing on your way, I say. Mm-hmm.